Hi guys, so if you are uh, unable to access your routers homepage uh, in Windows 10 computer, so let's fix this. The first method and first point to check is that make sure you you are using the right IP address to access the router. For that, just search CMD, right click on it, click on Run as Administrator. Once it opens up, you have to type IP config. Hit enter. Just note down your default gateway, okay? And make sure that this is the IP address which you are using to go to the router's address, okay? Now, if this does not work, you can do some routers have a HTTPS protocol for using the uh, page. So just try HTTPS version for going to your router okay instead of HTTP just make sure that it is HTTPS now if this also does not work uh, sometimes uh, accessing routers address works when you change the browser okay so if you're using Chrome try to uh, open Internet Explorer okay and try to access router from this browser or use a different browser like Firefox and try to access the router. This also fixes the problem in most of the cases. If this also does not work, you can try restarting your modem, okay, a router. Uh, just uh, turn off the router, wait for 10 seconds, and after that start the router again. If all else fails, you can also do a factory reset. There must be a button. Uh, just uh, sometimes a red button or a hole uh, to reset the uh, router. If this also does not work, there is one more thing which you can do. Just right click on the start button, click on run and now type ncpa.cpl. Now click on OK. Now once you reach here, just right click on the uh, network adapter with which you are connected via Ethernet. Uh, internet. If you are connected via Wi-Fi, right click on Wi-Fi. If you are connected via Ethernet, right click on the Ethernet. In my case, I am connected by Wi-Fi, so right click on it, click on properties. Now just check, uh, select internet protocol version 4 and now click on properties. And make sure this is selected obtain an IP address automatically and make sure this is also selected obtain DNS server address automatically. Then click on OK and close and try again and your problem will get fixed. That's it guys. Please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching the geek.